Folks that way. I was fixing to call out, but uh... say he's in a bad way. Don't make sense coming in like he does. Somebody after him, I'd say. If he's on the run, and the horse will be lathered up. But he was walking him. We best stand watches. We can sort it out come morning. We ain't seen no Comanche signs for three days. Yeah, I know. Sounds all quiet out there, but You reckon he'll make it till the morning? Well, if he do or he don't, us losing sleep ain't gonna change it. No, I'll look around. Be rousting you directly. You just gonna let him lay there? Well, he ain't bleeding nowhere as I can see. I reckon he just run more well. Whoa, boy. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Look at him. Come down. Get down. Check it. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, boy. Whoa. Easy now. Whoa. Easy. Good boy. Easy. He's okay now. I'll bed him down. Got you with damn ear. I'll bed him down real proper. No call for that. He's been shot. Well, I ain't shot him yet. Reckon that's why he's so scared. Looky here. They long heel. <laughs> Look at this one. Looks pretty fresh to me. Oh, damn, I'm gonna stamp you next time. My granddaddy's with Andy Jackson at New Orleans. Got all shot up. We get pretty mean sometimes. Mom always said it was them old wounds sticking him, galling him. That's a goddamn dumbass animal. Ain't no Andy Jackson. I wonder where he got him. I don't think he's moved since he fell down there. Well, he's still breathing. So I'll get some of this down. Maybe he ought to rest some more. Maybe he was snake better. Maybe he's got trouble on his trail, which we don't need no part of. He did it down him. <laughs> well, look like he's coming round. Mister, we're pulling out. Going south. We're fixing to give you some beans, maybe a little water. Horse. I need a horse. Well, you got yourself a horse, a fine horse. I can pay. I got... 
Oh, I ain't no bad cook, nothing. Just these here. Fine. I took the loads out so you wouldn't hurt yourself. <laughs> I got hard money. I'll pay fifty dollars. Gold. Well, we ain't got no string, just what we're setting. I'll swap. Give you twenty dollars, boot. I'll go a hundred. It was a damn engine horse. You killed an engine and took him. It ain't. I swear it ain't. Lord, no, they on your trail. I ain't seen no engine sign for a hundred miles. Well, that's about when we seen him last, BD. Maybe he's telling the truth. You got a deal. Now, hold on a minute. I'm making the swap here, BD. If he stole that horse from a white man, that's even worse. It's my horse. I never known a man had a horse he couldn't ride. It was a friend. My partner, he died. And how was that? Stampede. And that all busted up. And then you took his horse. What do you figure your partners to do have used to be took off? They were two cows not within their hands. I told you they're empty. Well, I reckon it ain't hard to figure out what kind of work he does, dude. My name is Virgilio Segura. The law has been pushing me for a week clean through Texas. I've been out of food, water. I recollect there's a price on you. $500. I got about that much in my poke. Let me have a horse, some food. Why should we throw in with you when we can get the $500 legal? I don't rightly know. I don't much like selling a man, BD. Not even for no $500. Well, split three ways. Uh, that'd be two years of pushing cows north. I don't know. He ain't never done me no hurt. You ain't the law, BD. The law says you've done a sight of killing, robbing banks and such. I reckon it's a fact. Oh, Jesus, HBQ. They say you run with Billy the Kid. We covered some ground together. They say the both of you would shoot a man down quick as you look at him. I looked at the three of you sleeping peaceful last night. How close were you when that big red horse yelled out? Was you in range or not? Well, BD does have a rifle in that boot. Well, friends, my posse will be along right soon. Make up your minds. They see us together hard to tell what they might think. I'm swapping me for a horse and $20 to boot, BD. I'm ready to head south. All right. That's the way of it, then. You give John T. here the 20 We ain't your partners. I still want to buy some food. Well, I got some jerky I can spare. Hmm. Our double eagles. Take one. No, no, no. That little bit of nothing ain't worth no $20. Go on, go on. Take it. I'm obliged. No call to be. It's not our affair. What's twitched you in the law? I'm still obliged. Maybe we'll cross paths again. If I'm lucky in that bussy. That's not likely, mister. We're taking different roads. You never know. Crooked roads have to go anywhere. Crossing the straight and narrow like this time. Here's your double eagle, friend. I can't take no boot. Not for a horse like this. He's something. Right enough. Not if he's stole. Ain't nobody gonna be claiming that animal, amigo. Not in this world. I don't suppose you helped him on to the next. Sheriff Lima Garrett got him. New Mexico Territory. You best not know no more. Adios, amigos. I'm gonna call him Jim. That was my granddad's name. He brought me up. He did you reckon that's Billy the Kid's horse or not? He's my horse, Jim. Come on, we're Jim.
See why not? It's only a couple more hundred miles. <laughs> <laughs> See you, boys. And looks you're good. You got a piece to go. Yes, sir. Part of Alley. Yes, we do. Part of Alley. I did some trailing years back. Never got over that way, though. Let's see. What do we got here? All them beans and that uh, flour. About two dollars out of cover. Well, that's all right. You make it make it dollar fifty. We're obliged, sir. Yes, sir. Come back again. Stop in next year and watch your trail. How much is them peaches? One dollar the can. One dollar the can? It's the freight, son. Clean all the way from St. Louis. Take some deer. I'll take three cans. Three cans. Jim, something pretty big up here, I reckon. Well, we don't smell no cat. Thought I heard something a bit ago. Thunder. God ain't thunder. We best take a look, see. <laughs> oh, if that don't beat all, I can make a bunch of wild yelling. <laughs> My grandpappy told me the Frenchies took it up. They called it La Crosse. What? La Crosse or some such. That's what they call them, uh, them sticks. Isn't it? <laughs> Road men carrying on that away. My grandpappy told me that uh, they wait for a sign of money on it. <laughs> well, they're trying to get that, that, that tag roll. The twisting little pole, I said. That ain't much. Well, as you can see, when you get uh, another bunch bigger on stopping you, you can get to be considerable. Ooh, look at that big and go, look at that big and go. He's going about as far as he's going. Day. Plenty of firewood, water. Now let's go on. We don't call for no night riding. We're the first ones to hit the red as it is. Well, I don't feel like sleeping. Well, I'm hungry. Well, I ain't. We ain't gonna find no better place. Ah, horse shit and gunpowder. 
Well, I reckon I'll get them beans and biscuits going. I'm gonna go get me some fresh meat. Oh, now there's plenty of jerky, huh? Nah, I don't want no jerky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You reckon that's the kids all showing up? I'm sure as hell was secure. <laughs> Sounds like you got itself that fresh meat. Mm. Segura had $500 in his boat. He held it right in his hand. If we'd have took it, we'd have been going against the law. We let him go anyway. It wasn't the same. He didn't buy us off, John T. We ain't the law, John T. We ain't nothing. No, you're a cow chaser. Same as us. Ain't no way for it. Maybe not, maybe so. Christ right, on the mountain. Man don't have to start pulling a plow, you know, selling shoes. Man can get a few head, a little place of his own. Somebody fix them to die, are they? Leave you some property, John T? All it takes is a few hundred. Tell me something, BD. How long you been doing this here? Twenty years. Plus three for the war. Well, you're gonna be dragging ass into Kansas when I'm 50. How much are you gonna put aside? Well, I, I got my bonus coming. That's thirty dollars. And at the clock, you got how much? You worth? What? Fifteen. Uh, it's valuable. Segura bought us these at least. One dollar the can. We hit Lasky Springs for sundown. It ain't never dry out for August. Uh, I figure about a mile a day after that, that ought to do it. Well, Bar White, I'm just trying, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> just fine. I ain't going back. Uh, son, you got your bonus pay waiting. You could do that, like you said, get yourself a few head, that's back. Everybody ain't got the piss they pay away like BD. Hell no, I just never, uh, well, it's all right with me, somebody else being boss and all, but. Uh... Ain't nobody gonna die and leave me nothing, BD. I'm just gonna go and take it, I reckon. Well, that's some talk now, John T. A man can't just up and change his calling. Some do. Segura did. He holds up a poke with $500 in it. That's a ranch he's holding. Sage, let's get us a damn drink. We can't just stand here. You don't look like much. Now, that town marshal, he don't look like much neither. But I don't believe they give him that badge just to keep his vest from a flopping. He don't look a mite different with a gun in his hand. I'm sure you're right. Singing with your feet, singing with your feet, singing with your feet. Music wants a pair of shoes, and it don't seem no matter who. You've been chosen. Get out your seat. Start singing with your feet, singing with your feet, singing with your feet, singing with your feet. Yeah, I sing on the serenade floor. Come on with me, dance. Yeah, that's what your feet are for. Well, now you got me. How you doing? Toes your life, a chance to grow. So keep it set. As a sweet while you're singing with your feet, singing with your feet, singing with your feet, singing with your feet. Yeah. Come on and sing it now. Walk right in there, tickle, they got me. 
wife and I figured to give it to us. That could happen. That could happen, John D. Looking into 3 6 guns. I ain't gonna give us no trouble. What did they do? What did they do? Are you fixing to shoot somebody, John T, if it comes down to it? They won't try nothing unless you got a drop on them. All right. We get the money and we get out. What do you figure that Marshall's gonna be doing? Hell, we'll be long gone before he knows anything about it. Yeah. We got the money. We got the posse. I want you to just relax a girl. And then we run. And we don't stop running, you know? I didn't ask you to come. I'm just gonna do it. shooting at me, and I reckon I'll shoot back. I ain't never killed nobody, except in the war. Maybe some engines. I mean, I was in some, some range, range don't want to Oh, mess you up. I reckon, yeah, I reckon maybe I... Somebody starts shooting at you. Ain't much else a man can do, I don't reckon. Yeah. Buy me a drink, boy. Or you can die. Buy the bottle and we can go upstairs and work on it. How much it be? A bottle like that. Five dollars. How about that little lady over there by the piano? Oh, Kelly. From the skies blazing. How much it be for her to fetch us up the bottle? You got fifty dollars, have you? Fifty? I'd give my right arm. <laughs> no, Miss Kelly don't take nothing but hard cash. Of course, now the mayor won't be until later, and uh, if you boys have got the fifty dollars. Now all by my lonesome, I've grown some, perhaps from going I'm Marshal Sam Tillman, boys. Better give this another thing. Our Marshal's never had a hold up. You do tell your Marshal. Tell him Billy Bonnie don't give a damn for no Sam Tillman. Get them cash drawers. Just stay nice and quiet. We won't have no trouble. Somebody come. I don't know how Bill Bonnie would give a damn about anything I'm on about now. That Garrett don't took care of that. You seen Billy the Kid go down? Did you, friend? Old territory, heard out. I don't want to hear no more. So, girl, how we doing? We're cleaning out, kid. The fuck? Get it open. We don't have a whole damn gun in here. The fuck? The marshal has the key in his office, I swear. You're a liar. No, oh, I swear, it's the truth. That's how Tillman runs this town. Pick the wrong place, huh? Shut up. I don't want to hear no more talk. We got plenty, kid. Come on, he was not trying to lie to you. Oh, oh there's a wagon pulling about rope. I swear to God, Miss Hurry. All right, everybody get that far wall and don't turn around. We'll be watching from outside. Move! Remember, stay put. We'll be watching. took the easy way around. Ain't nobody back there you can see for 20 miles. Hey, I just got a goddamn feeling. Look, we got the money. Nobody got hurt. We're clear. That's all there is to it. Maybe you should head back west. 
Get back to the bar wire for putting it on schedule. Nobody know. Told you. I'm done with that. I just mean that maybe we should lay low. Let's keep on working like nothing happened. Nobody know it was us. You can do as you please, but I'm done with it. Oh, John T. Hellfire, I just meant that I'm going on with it till I get enough. Uh-huh. And when's that going to be? Well, the way I figured, we got about four, five hundred dollars a piece right now. I can get himself a nice little piece of land. Yeah, the bankers robbing us with their mortgages and all. That makes a lot of sense. So you figuring to get enough to set up like the bar wire, is you? Ten thousand. That's what I'm figuring. Ten thousand? Sure, the three of us, we could go partners. Wouldn't take long. Be kind of nice seeing cows get fat. Well, oh, bucket. You bet it would. We'd have to hire a few extra hands. Of course, we'd be working owners. <laughs> I damn sure have them calling me Mister. <laughs> Mr. July. That's your given name, isn't it? Yeah, that's the only thing I got. Never had any other. That is till now. Now, a man of property, I reckon I better get me another name. July Coleman. That sounds fine. July yeah, Coleman. I'm not sure, sure that'd be all right, using your name as such? Hey, we're partners, ain't we? <laughs> sure you right. I know you right. <laughs> Excuse me, boys. Before you brand all them cows, we'll best do us some fancy figuring. Why's that? Oh, what's the matter? Look yonder. See. Right there, where we come from. I don't see nothing. What do you mean you don't see nothing? Right under there, under that goddamn ridge. Oh, come on, BD. Ain't nothing but a dust devil. There's a devil in that dust, all right, wearing a goddamn marshal's badge. That ain't him. It can't be. We trailed through water, stayed on hard ground. And he's right behind us, straight as a string. It looks like he's got a good bunch with him, too. Could be anything. Buffalo, Indian camp on the move. No way of telling it's him from here. Oh, yeah. Well, they're coming fast. You want to wait till we see the sun off of that badge? Well, he's done for. You okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I'm going down. Kick loose. Well, leave your gear. That damn beast won't let nobody sit about you, John T. He'll do like I tell him. Come on. Right, double. We ain't got a prayer. We ain't leaving you here. Come on, you two get moving. I slow him down some. Not here. That rise. We'll never make that rise. They're too damn close. We'll make it. Come on, boy. Easy now. July, you take my horse. I'll stay here. Make him back off a ways. There's no cover here. We gotta make it to them rocks. We're riding double that away. Me and Jim will be there. You wanna bet a hundred of your share that we won't be first? <laughs> well, goddamn. can run that away. He's finished. Well, he's still sound. There's a ridge yonder ways. You want to lose another hunter? I ain't going to kill bird shit. But damned if I don't think he could go it. We've got a back ways. 
Let's get higher. Let the animals cool down. Pick up some cover. They still coming. They ain't gonna quit. And we ain't gonna quit neither. It's kind of uncomplicated, don't it? Once the man's mind's made up. on the gray. Oh, damn is hot. He must not be over much. Riding onto that ridge, perfect for setting a trap like it is. Likely they're figuring us to keep running. Well, they're figuring wrong. Eight, nine, nine and a three. Sam Tillman, they seem to set great store on him. He ain't even slowing down either. Oh, put them out of the way. I don't know them citizens want to fool it on their own. Damn you. Why don't he turn back? doctor and I allow. We ain't even his county no more. He didn't have no right crowding us. Well, there ain't no way for it now. Got a couple of their horses running loose. Like this now, we get a rope on one of them, huh? Well, I'll tend to it. Keep an eye on them for me. Give me that great one. That marshal's riding that great one. Yeah, we figured it to be him. Well, he's still going. We can't even one of them apart. I reckon not. Hard to tell. All that shooting. Hard to tell. I'm sure you're right. But I, I think I hit him. Damn, stole clerks in the lake. He ain't got no stomach for it. Clerks and cow hands. Shout out of them. Joe, you're right. They figured us to be headed to Oklahoma. <laughs> Slipping over the New Mexico like we're down. I ain't never been to New Mexico territory before. Well, I've been to El Paso once. Well, I don't figure it much different. New Mexico. Well, you head south. I ain't never seen El Paso. Ain't much to see. If I hear they got silver over around Santa Fe. No, I ain't never heard that. A fellow on the drive told me. Bring it in on them wagons, he said. From the mines. Guards on them wagons, I expect. Now, he didn't say nothing about there being guards. Well, piss on the parade if you had wagons full of silver. Oh, now, B.D. wouldn't hurt take a look at it now, huh? Well, I'd rather go after one wagon full of silver than six or eight banks. There'll be goddamn guards on them goddamn wagon. All right, there will be. If there's wagons full of silver, we'll go after them. Guards or no guards. Like as not, we kill that marshal. So I don't reckon it makes no never mind no more. I don't suppose it does. Well... Which way is Santa Fe? Cada vez que me siento tan mejor, la luna que me mueve, amor en sus ojos, el mundo es hermoso, por donde llega más, va por 
picture from my friend. <laughs> now, where the hell is he going? My friend's still at the cantina? Si, senor. They eat some, they throw up some, and they eat some more. <laughs> I don't reckon they got the same kind of cooking that I did. Oh, no. My sister Luz, she's on it for the heifer. I really ain't the boss, Beto. I know. When I care for the horses, I know. Tell your sister she's nice. Really nice. Sure. She likes you, too. She never liked any of the... I mean... Yeah, I know what you mean. Tell her. Tell her for me that she was a virgin. Sure, I tell her. Maybe I'll teach you some English, too. Next time, tell yourself. Yeah, right. Next time. Yeah. 
Them Cheyenne, there ain't nothing we can do. We could get in there and stop them wasting cartridges. Damn fool, Thomas from from Ohio and, and Alabama and such. How the hell with them? Damn dumb farmers. They're getting what they ask for, pushing in where they ain't wanted. that just dandy you know the only plowing you're going to be doing is graves all right move that around. Hey, get the wagon around there your help. we manage all right on our own damn i hate farmer i don't want to have to blow your goddamn kneecap off mister i just want to be sure these people get to wherever the hell it is you think you're taking them now what's it going to be i reckon you do whatever you say you see how they're just sitting out there that's because they're fixing to wear you down run you short of cartridges and then just walk in and help themselves now they see we're fixing to change all that what are they doing out there? Well, the war chief, he's uh, cooking up something else, I expect. Well, you got more people, right? Your army scouts or something? No, there ain't no more, and we ain't no such thing. Well, hell, we ain't no better off than we were. I don't want to have to hit you again, Jefford. We got about 16 guns with ours, probably no more than 30 rounds apiece. How long have you been throwing bullets away? Did they parlay first or just come in? Well, they, 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 they were they want? Well, they wanted some horses and cows and some other stuff. And you said no? Hell, these are poor folks, boy. I'm not going to start giving away. The well, you're fixing to throw their lives away. Hey, July, hold them stock there. And hey, them three there and them two next. Hey, how are you going with them stock? Fixing to save all our hides. <laughs> Wagon. They look like a lot of, a lot of damage, huh? Hey, look, mister, you give my horses and we're not going to have enough stock to pull these wagons. Well, you'll be leaving them a couple of your wagons, too. Now, what good is that going to do, showing weakness? They'll just ride in here and figure they can take everything. What'd you do if somebody came traipsing onto your land back in Ohio, Mr. Jefford? Indiana. All right, Indiana. I'd expect you to either charge them some or run them off, right? Like the same. Look, savages out there. Now what are they doing? You reckon you kill any of them? Doesn't look like it. How many of your people hit? A couple. The savages are crazy. Uh, they come running in here, jabbing at us with those sticks. Then running off hollering, I. Huh? One of them got me right here on the shoulder, just light as a feather. Cow and coop. Huh? I'm saying that's just like ending. For the glory of it, that's all. They ain't much on killing. Because we taught them that way. Good thing your people ain't much at shooting. Well, I reckon they're satisfied. I mean, that's all there is to it, huh? They're not going to be vexing us anymore? Oh, no. Oh, that's a trick. 
Yeah, there'll be Labor Force up ahead. You watch it. I'd say not. Nah, not that bunch. How far are you going, Mr. Dufford? Montana Territory. Well, you'll be out of Cheyenne country soon. Next to be Sue, I expect, and then Nez Perce. Good luck, Mr. Jefford. Oh, no, you don't need it. Thank you, mister. Uh, Coleman, ma'am. John T. We saved our lives. My father, he just... Well, son, do you have a mind come along with us? We ain't. Well, maybe for a day or so. Hey, you get some good cooking. My daughter here, she'll make a biscuit to take the wrinkles out of your bellies. What the hell are you folks doing out here, Mr. Jefford? Well, we got into St. Louis. We were two weeks late. Couldn't afford to hang around, so we figured we might catch up with the wagons. Well, Mr. Jefford, we ain't trailmen. Well, you know the territory and the Indians. Denver's a ways north. Santa Fe south. We might find somebody there. Well, that'd be two weeks out of our way, son. You got any peaches? Peaches? Yeah, in cans. Well, I oh. just thought you being out of oh. St. Louis and all. Are you sure you won't change your mind? I'm sorry, Mr. Jefford. We got business in Denver. All right. Well, good luck to you. Thank you for your help. You ought to be all right from here on, ma'am. Just tell your pa. Put himself in the other fellow's boots or moccasins. They'll see you ain't got much. You'll be fine. My name's Mary Ellen. Indeed, that's a fine, pretty name, ma'am. Mary Ellen. What's it like, Montana Territory, Mr. Coleman? I don't rightly know, Miss Jeffords. But I hear God lives there when he decides to visit. Indiana's a fine place, too. Ain't never been there, neither. I always wanted to see Montana, though, especially now. I hope... I hope you do, Mr. Coleman. See Montana. Make it now. Damn dumb farmer. Folks show is funny. Farming and all, I mean. Us following behind cows like we're done. I don't find that very funny. Well, what, what I mean is that folks put their whole lives into it and generally don't amount to much. Take BD here. I bet he got more money in his pocket right now than he's had in his entire life. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Well, I don't, I didn't know. Wish we ain't no damn dumb farmer. Poor cow folks. I don't want. Are you sure right about that? We're out of his county by now. A lot of lawmen don't pay no mind to county lines and such. Maybe men in that posse had money in that bank. There ain't moon enough for them to be tracking at night. $287 each man. Seemed like a lot more than we was getting it. The way I look at it, it's still a year's wages. You two get some shut-eye. I'll take the first watch. I don't know if this is such a good idea. We need grub, supplies. We ain't sure if that posse turned back. Go to sidetrack. We're shed of them. Come on, Richard. Come on. Yeah, I ain't never seen that brand before. Double C. We're in Oklahoma. New Mexico, most likely. Wait, we've been side sipping and traipsing all over. It's a nice spread. Everything right up to snuff. Let's find out. We'll sleep aside better knowing we got some boundary lines between us and them citizens. Supper, but about a month late for a job of work. Supper will be just fine, Mr. Harper. We ain't looking for work just now. Well, it's Mr. Charles Carter's place, Double C. Mr. Carter's got some sure fine stock, eh? Racing blood and air brought him in from the east. Hmm. It's got to show like clean lines, don't it? That's the way he runs the Double C, Mr. Trim and clean. Right. Scrape off a little of that prairie there and uh, 
Tell Lee Hong I said to lay out three more plates. Yeah? We're black, sir. Oh, well, he'll holler like a stuck hog. Pay him no mind, he's a Chinaman. <laughs> Hell of a cook, though. Lieutenant Bell's is long about now. Worse. Be putting up them horse sheds that Mr. Wyatt was thinking on. Huh. Mm, they say in Montana, it'll snow in July, some years. Well, I don't know about that. Well, out in California, they say a man can throw a rock off a mountain. By the time it hits the bottom, it'll gather up enough snow to fill a boxcar. And then it'll roll smack dab in the middle of that there Death Valley. <laughs> <laughs> Fella told me he's seen it happen. But he's seen a big pile of snow setting out there in the middle of that desert. Is that the same fella that seen them silver wagons in Santa Fe? Huh? <laughs> now you mention it, I reckon it was. Uh, yeah, I expect the fella. Believe most anything if all he ever saw was ass end of a cow. <laughs> <laughs> well, there ain't gonna be nobody telling us nothing no more. <laughs> I'm sorry about your leg, BD. Oh, I don't think on it much. It don't hurt bad, mostly. We should have had the doctor take that bullet out. Well, it's time we got out of that territory. Don't matter anyway. We got the slug out. We got it out. You know, it's a funny thing. Them knowing our names and all clear up in Colorado and them warning posters. Sure was a funny thing. You still thinking, July? Finding funny things? I reckon I am. We never showed back up at the bar. Why? Two whites and a black. Two whites and a black robbed that bank in Texas and tried for them silver wagons in Denver. And the stage outside of Durango. And the bank in Monroe's? I don't see how it's very funny. Well, I reckon not. But you see, it wrote up the way it was. Our names and them, 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 them drawings. Hell, they didn't look much like us. Looked enough like us to that marsh up there in black, there. How many is it now? Can you tell me that? Man, it's hard to tell. I mean, them two in the posse, the way we read it. We ain't killed nobody that didn't try and kill us first. Five, back six. Over here. And, uh, how much we got all told? Uh, 1300 apiece. How much we got left? Not much. <laughs> what the hell's all this? We're talking. Well, I don't want to talk no more. Six. We killed six, my best recollect. You've been chewing on that all this time. Well, as you said, it was them or us. Well, it should have been us. They was the ones in the right. Sometimes I feel like it was us, you know? If Segura hadn't rode in on us that night, on that horse, Oh, I ain't never regretted that part of it. Bad Jim. Just Jim from here on out. Like my granddad. Come on, boy. <laughs> 
Marker, you can say that. Oh, this time. Come on, Jim. We'll be Oaks and Corner, Monterey. Fast boy. Tuesday or Wednesday. Buddy, I ain't seen nobody. That ain't funny, July. What? In that saloon. Man with a rifle. He's back when I see him. The boy on that roof over to the left. Sweet Jesus. Oh, they're all over. I believe they're waiting for them. Oh, they can't be. I don't know nothing about us in California. They can't. Well, they do. I'll never see that Montana territory. I don't figure to sit around no jail waiting to get my head in a rope. I expect we better take us a little ride, Pardos. Show you right. I still got that hundred dollars left. Says me and Bird Shit beat the two of you this time. To the ocean? Goddamn. Use on. <laughs> partners. Sorry it took so damn long to understand. Easy. It's going to be all right. You mean 
not be free and wild no more. There's worse things, girl. There's worse things than being a cow pony in Montana. Cowboy, you've been riding for so long Working hard to stay alive 